So, as you will have seen in the last month, Dartfish released their latest version 6.0 of their software. And while there are numerous fantastic tools and features that they've added, there's one that I wanted to look at in a little bit more detail and maybe show you some things you can do with it outside of Dartfish. And that's the zone tool. So this is what it looks like. So within Dartfish now you can add a single field position or field button that represents your entire pitch. And you can break that into as many zones as you need. Okay, so in this case we have a football pitch and a simple tagging panel. And the data it's produced is this. So it's given me my list of events as normal and it's also given me another category field called field position. And in this case it's given me the coordinates of every foul that's happened as I've tagged the information. Okay, so everything as far there is, is as normal as you would have done. And it will still give you that statistical information where you can look at the number of fouls in particular areas of the pitch. Okay, but I want to look at something that might give you more of a graphical representation of this. So I created this in Excel. Okay, so this has plotted the information from the previous slide onto a pitch back in Excel. And players or managers or coaches might better understand this information rather than this information. This might be more appealing. And I want to quickly show you how we might create one of these. So if we go into Dartfish, you'll see here I've added my zone tool in and the properties of it are that it has 100 zones wide by 80 zones high. So you could use this in any sport and if you want to change the, the field you just double click on the image button and you can change the image to whatever you want. So I've gone ahead and tagged some of this information. So we would simply select all of the events that we need, copy to clipboard and in Excel we paste them in. Okay, so that's the first step. And we'll go through this quite quickly. So I'd highlight the data and the first thing I need to do is separate the X and Y coordinates into two different fields. So we go data, text to columns, and we want to make it a semicolon and finish. So now we have the X and Y coordinate of each event. So we highlight all the data. We're going to insert a scatter graph, okay, and we want the one without the line, so we want markers only, and we add that in. Excellent. Okay. So that's the first stage. Now we need to set the axes so they they represent the same dimensions as our pitch in Dartfish. So you remember we set this to be a 100 by 80 wide, but we want to do the same in Excel. So we already have 80 high, but we want to just make sure it stays that way. So we fix it at 0 and fix it at 80. And for this axis, we want to inverse the order and click close. For this one here, we want to make sure that it's only starts at 0, but it's only 100 wide. Excellent. Now we want to remove all the unnecessary information, so that starts with the axes. So we write, we click on it and just click delete, click on it, delete. We're going to move, remove the grid lines, so we select them and delete, and we're going to remove the legend as well. Excellent. So the next step is we want to put the pitch on the background. So selecting our graph, we right click and format chart area, and we want to put in a picture. And it's great to use the same image you used in your zone tool, so you keep the consistency going. So we've pitches and zones, and we're going to use the cropped, because you don't want any extra material outside the pitch, because that will distort the coordinates. And lastly, we right-click on the plot area to format it, and we want to make sure there's no fill. Okay, And then we just make the plot area the same size as the graph. So now I have this statistical information graphically represented on a pitch. And I can then start to edit, so I can change the colours of these if I want to make them black. Or you can add your own images to them. So very quickly I've gone from a statistical picture to a graphical picture quite quickly. So we've gone from that to that quite quickly. So I hope that helped. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch.